In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to build a list of profitable AMS keywords. While there are two types of ads, sponsored and display, we're going to start by creating a list of keywords for our sponsored ads. And in a later video, I'm gonna show you how to create a list of display ads using your sponsored list. Also, if you haven't signed up for my free AMS Advertisement for Books course, just go ahead and click the link below in the description and check that out. I'm going to show you exactly how to create profitable AMS campaigns that will not only bring in continuous money, but continuously show your book in front of more readers. So make sure to check that out and click the link in the description below. Now, sponsored ads show up when someone types in their search term, clicks search, and the resulting books are displayed. Therefore, our keywords for AMS needs to be words that people would type into the search box. When it comes to AMS keywords, there are two types I like to focus on. Descriptive phrases, which are words that people use to describe the book or what they're looking for, related book titles, and author names, names of books that are related to your book. Think about it. How do you shop? Sometimes you know exactly what you're looking for and type in the book title or the author name. But sometimes you're just looking for a certain subject or solution, and so you describe what you're looking for. Well, that's exactly what our shoppers are doing on Amazon, and for our AMS ads, we need to capture both opportunities. Therefore, our sponsored product ad keyword list needs to incorporate both types of keywords so as to adequately attract the right market. Let's start with building our list of descriptive phrases. Descriptive phrases could be a description of the shopper's pain point or how they would describe a book. Here's a nonfiction example. If I'm looking for a book on back pain, I might type in back pain, lower back pain, acute back pain, or even something like relieve back pain fast. These are the phrases I'd type into Amazon when I don't have a specific book in mind, but know what I'm generally looking for. For fiction, this is where I describe the book type. For those of you who don't know me, I love science fiction military books. And when I look for my next space adventure, I type in things like sci-fi military, epic space battle, space marines, and more to see what comes up. Most fiction readers do this as well. So we want to create a list of words that our target market would type into Amazon if they were looking for our type of book. So to do this, Let's begin. Step one, start by listing any terms that come to mind that would describe your book. Think about ways you would describe your book on anything that you think is a good general statement about your book. Now that you have a list of potential words, step two, start typing these words or phrases into Amazon and see what Amazon suggests. To do this adequately, make sure to use Google Chrome's incognito mode. This will make sure Amazon doesn't use your account's information or previous searches when showing you suggestions. You don't want to taint your results with your own information, but instead get the raw information from Amazon. Also, make sure to select Kindle category in Amazon so that the suggestions will be more book focused. Once you're in incognito mode and have selected Kindle, go ahead and start typing some of those phrases you listed in the previous step. Now, Amazon will start to present you with suggestions. If any of them are a good fit, write them down. One thing I like to do is take a term and add an A and see what Amazon suggests. Then I'll erase the A and write a B and so on through the alphabet. This makes sure I find even the most niche of terms to cover in my AMS ads. Because remember, these words are being shown because they're things that people have actually typed into Amazon. Step three, once you have a list of good words, take a good look at them and add more by using synonyms of certain words or phrases as well as misspellings. Cause let's face it, a lot of shoppers misspell things as they're quickly typing in what they're looking for. Through this process, you should have at least 50 words by now. If not, try it again and see what you can come up with. Now that we have a list of concentrated descriptive words, it's time to look for related book titles and authors to advertise in front of. Remember, these are the keywords people type in when they have a particular author or book in mind. So to find a list of related books that we should target, we're going to take four steps that will help us to find popular related books for us to target in AMS. Step one, 
To do this, let's start by typing in our best descriptive terms into Amazon and clicking search. Now, Amazon has presented us with a list of books. Let's copy their title, series names, if they have one, and author name or names to our list. Step two, click on the books that we think best represent our book from this list and copy down the titles, series names, and author names of the books in the list of customers who bought this time also bought section. These are books that people also bought when they bought the book you just clicked on. Step three, now click on the pertinent categories. This will take you to the top 20 books for that category. Copy the title, series names, and author names of these books as well. You can even go further and click on the next page and copy the information for the books ranking 21 through 40, and so on if you want. Step four, to the right of the top books in the category is the hot and new books. Click on this and copy the information of the top 20 books here. These are usually a gold mine because they are new books and thus don't have much competition in AMS yet. This allows you to get ahead of the pack and start gaining from new books that are doing their big launch push at the moment. This equals high number of impressions and low competition. Step five, repeat steps two through four for all other books that were pertinent in step one. I'm going to fast forward through this section because it can take a little bit of time to click on each book, each category, each hot and new, and copy and paste all of the titles and series names and author names into our Excel sheet. Whew, okay, and there you have it. There's no doubt in my mind that you have at least 200 plus keywords on your list by now. Now, I know that was a lot of work clicking and copying and pasting and so on. Luckily, there's a tool that will do all of that for you. KDP Rocket, software that works on both Mac and Windows, will not only find all those descriptive keywords and Amazon suggestions, but will also go through each result and each category and pull all that information for you. Then, with a click of a button, you can export all the keywords to an Excel sheet. All I have to do is click AMS Keywords, type in my initial word or phrase, then click Go Get Em Rocket. KDP Rocket will now find all the Amazon suggestions as well as the book information in the results and the top books in the categories, plus the hot and new category as well. Once that list is complete, I'll just hit export and all the data will be placed in an Excel sheet. I can then do this again and again and again. For new terms, take the Excel sheets and combine them into one large and well-researched AMS keyword list. I can also remove any duplicates in Excel by clicking on data at the top and then the remove duplicates. Your Excel might look a little different depending on what version you have. If that is the case, just do a Google search on how to remove duplicates in Excel and then add your version's information. With steps one through five, you should have more than enough keywords to get your AMS campaign going and get results. However, there are a couple of bonus steps that I highly recommend you take as well. They can be real game changers and difference makers. Let's check them out. Bonus step number one, go to goodreads.com and type in the names of some of the popular books that are related to your book. After selecting that particular book, scroll down till you see the lists with this book and click more list with this book. These are lists of books based on some kind of theme that users created. The best kind of list to use in order to gain titles and author names for AMS campaigns are the ones that are really speak to your kind of audience. For example, using Ready Player One, I would find that there's best science fiction or best books ever, and let's face it, that really wouldn't be helpful. Although I agree with them, <laughs> that's not going to help me niche down and find great books to align with. They're too broad and probably too competitive. However, I'd seriously consider the lists like books about video games and virtual reality, or best cyberpunk, or lit RPG, the book set in virtual reality online MMO RPG games. Yeah, that last one was pretty niche. The point though is that because they are so niche and well-defined for a group of books, 
they are a great fit to help me find other books to advertise on with my AMS campaign. Bonus step number two, look for popular events in which to piggyback off of. An example would be during the elections. Self-published authors had a lot of new areas in which to promote their books because of current political events and rhetoric, as well as new slew of keywords to target due to the trendiness of the topic at the time. Bonus step number three, target any book awards for your genre. Many readers love reading award winners and will actively pursue that title when they hear of it winning. For science fiction, awards like the Hugo and Nebula Award are perfect targets for those sci-fi military writers. So check out what awards exist for your niche and genre. Bonus step number four. Look for any popular movies in your genre, especially new and upcoming ones. When A Dog's Purpose came out, Wendy Vanderpool, a self-published author who writes on Dog Loss Grief, used the movie title as an AMS keyword. Because of this outside-the-box thinking and the popularity of the term with little competition, Wendy experienced a very profitable campaign. And voila! Just like that, you should have an even larger list of keywords and be ready to start grouping them, which we'll cover in the next lesson. So to review, we just created a large list of keywords that people are actively searching for on Amazon. And we did this by listing both descriptive keywords as well as similar book titles and author names. If you would like to see how I organize these keywords, write sales copy that gets clicks, and some more advanced tactics that are out there, be sure to sign up for my free AMS Advertisement for Books course by clicking the link below in the description. It's absolutely free and it's super cool. Cheers.